I'm very excited. That sounds fantastic. Give it up for the band, everybody, right there. Sorry, I got swept up. I forgot to toss to you. I got too swept oh, up good, in it. You're good. We're going. We're I, going. That, that sounded fantastic. I'll take a, I'm very excited to have uh, Sweet Baby James Sweet on Baby the show James. tonight, uh, right. along with Mr. Matthew Perry. He's got a new book, fascinating, about his life, life here. I'll tell you a quick story about both Taylor Swift and James Taylor. Oh, my God. Is that uh, I'm you know, lucky enough to interview and, and to talk to both of them yeah. here, but my lovely daughter, when she was in college, had a college radio show once a week. Wow. Tuesdays around 6 or something like that. I used to try to tune into it. Yeah. And, uh, or 7. It was after the show. I, I loved listening to it on the way home on the internet. And uh, she and her friend who was doing the show together wanted to do a, a radio show that was dedicated to songs that they like and songs that their dads liked. Oh, cool. That's and the cool. name of the show was James Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, is that nice? It actually sounds like a Steven yeah. joke. It does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Folks, you know, I spend most of my time right over there pulling together the day's biggest stories, assembling them into a sleek hull, adding a symmetry flight deck, two Rolls-Royce BR-725 engines, panoramic oval windows, and true circadian lighting to present to you the magnificent Gulfstream G700 jet that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, I, I wash ashore. I wash ashore in an abandoned tailing pond, shake off the sulfide headache, steal a tent from some teenagers and wrap it around some old bike frames, and bolt on the seat I ripped out of a discarded go-kart, then climb an electrical tower and launch myself in the hobo hang glider of news that is my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile... That was, a good one. that was a good one. I like that one. I like this one, too. Ah. Uh. Meanwhile, <laughs> according to the latest research, U.S. workers have gotten way less productive, and no one is sure why. The researchers added, I'm sure we could figure it out, but... Eh. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's been a sexy scientific sex breakthrough because scientists finally learned more about the clitoris, <laughs> which they say... Which they say has many more nerve endings than we thought. <laughs> to which college age men everywhere responded, of course, and I definitely know where those nerve endings can be found. <laughs> it's in the bathing suit area. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Champagne House, uh, G.H. Moom, has invented a champagne bottle that can dispense bubbly in space. Fantastic. Who doesn't want drunk astronauts? <laughs> Houston! Hey, Houston, I have a problem. I love you. <laughs> You're my best friend, Houston. Hey, let's do karaoke. You were my voice when I couldn't... <laughs> oh, meanwhile... You were my voice when I... Meanwhile... In dog food news, San Francisco's latest trendy restaurant caters to canines. Meals cost $75 and include filet mignon steak tartare with quail egg. And it pairs beautifully with drinking directly from the toilet. <laughs> there is a revolution coming. Meanwhile, a hospital in Italy released photos of a recent delicate brain surgery during which the patient remained awake and played the saxophone. The reason he was playing the sax, of course, was because the surgeon was already on the upright bass. <laughs> Meanwhile... There you go. There you go. Hit it, baby. Hit it. Meanwhile, Mariah Carey went viral for releasing this video today titled, ominously, It's Time, Jim. <laughs> It is not time. It is not time. No! Halloween was just yesterday, Mariah. You cannot all I wait for Christmas while I still have mini Snickers in my lower intestine. And let me tell you, 
It is packed with peanuts. <laughs> Meanwhile, we just learned that Germany is going to legalize cannabis use for recreational purposes. Oh. And just 108 years too late to prevent a couple of world wars. <laughs> what? They've assassinated Archduke Ferdinand? <laughs> das ist eine Bummer. <laughs> now let us chillax, Franz, and watch the cuckoo clock. <laughs> the decision was a long time coming. So many U.S. presidents have pushed for it over the years, including, of course, Reagan's famous speech at the Berlin Wall. Mr. Gorbachev, rip on this bong. 